Hey guys, Cameron here from Pro No Coders, and we're about to get started on some bubble projects, and I figured as we're going through and customizing them, why not share some of the CSS that we use to provide that customization, that personalization. Uh, we have a multi dropdown selector. We have two of them. They are effectively the exact same. We can see here dropdown A and dropdown B are the only actual other differences. Um, what we are seeing here on our preview page is just the dropdown selector. If we add our choice one and choice two and choice three, they align from left to right. And this might be fine for you in your application use case, but what if you decided that you wanted them in the middle? You wanted them to be aligned in the middle and well, we're going to go ahead and accomplish that with some CSS today. On your page, your actual page that we're dealing with, we're going to double click on it and open up the properties panel. Inside the properties panel, we're going to include the following CSS snippet, where what this is doing is it's selecting all the items with that particular class, the select to selection rendered. Then we apply our display flex. So we use the flex box and we go ahead and align everything right in the middle. Once we have that, the CSS added, we can go ahead and head back to our live preview page and refresh it. When we go ahead and now add choices, you can see that they align right in the middle the way that we have told it to using our CSS. So these are the exact same dropdowns. They assume the exact same class name, which means that if you have multiple dropdown selectors, you only need one line of CSS. The rest is history. but. This is just the first video. You can do so much more with CSS, and I can't wait to share that with you. My name is Cameron, and I'm Pro No Coders. Have a great rest of your day.